<laughs> Hello, this is uh, Randy Hall with news from the year 3045. Brought to you by Tachyon Technology. Faster than the speed of light. And our sponsor is Cosmos Harmony. Remember, you can find your true love in the galaxy with Cosmos Harmony. Welcome Cybernauts to a wonderful world of the future where science and technology and magic have become one. Uh, here is your UFO report. I've already told you in the last episode about the Mercury UFO and the Jerusalem UFO. Check them out on YouTube if you get a chance or if you haven't seen them already. Uh, while you're at it, check out the China UFO. Found some interesting footage there. Uh, Russia UFO Ural Mountains. That's U R A L Mountains. Russia UFO Ural Mountains. Also, uh, if you want to see something weird, look up UFO transported. UFO transported, and you you can find some videos of footage of the government moving what looks like UFOs on the roads. Uh, while you at it, check out Drone UFO Russia. Uh, that's a situation where it appears a government drone was watching the protesters in Russia. Um, our, uh, Russia UFO 12 14 11, December 14 11. You'll find some interesting stuff there as well. But uh, that drone UFO is very interesting. Uh, makes you want to ask some questions about other UFOs that they might be some kind of a drone or something. Uh, I also discovered a UFO at Cape Coral, Florida. Coral, C-O-R-A-L. Cape Coral, Florida. December 13th, 11. 12, 13, 11. That was some interesting footage. I also found a UFO at Abion, A-L-B-I-O-N. 12 12 11 December 12th 11 and um, that would have been a better video if the guy using the camera had known how to use it he had problems adjusting his camera to try to video the uh, UFO so it would have been better if he would known more about what was going on uh, for predictions of UFOs I am predicting based on calculations and if research into past UFOs that a UFO will, will appear somewhere maybe in your community on December 22nd winter solstice also December 24th Christmas Eve and December 25th Christmas Day December 31st uh, New Year's Eve and uh, January 1st New New Year's Day. This is based on past appearances that I found. Uh, whether you're, you're in Netherlands, uh, Norway, Sweden, America, UK, Germany, Moscow, Mexico, New Mexico City. Take time to look. Take your camera out. Relax a while in the day. Take a, take a look around and see what you see. I believe there's enough UFOs out there. If enough people look, somebody's going to find something. And the more people who look, the better. So tell your friends. Now, if you're interested in these predictions for the future and uh, more UFO reports about UFOs appearing that you can see on YouTube, uh, you can search year 3045 on YouTube. Or you can subscribe to this channel. Or you can friend me, friend me, which on YouTube is now subscribing. They've changed friending to subscribing. So uh, subscribe to this channel. I will have future updates. Uh, now for some news from the 31st century. John Benny was a very wealthy man, but he didn't like spending so much time with his wife. She was very needy, so to speak. So he came up with a great idea. He had a, an android made to look just like himself. Then when he wanted to go fishing or some other activity, he would just replace himself at home with his android. 
it worked just fine. His wife couldn't tell the difference. Well, it worked just fine until yesterday when John Denny was found locked in a closet of his basement. Apparently, the android had ran off with his wife and took his money. To add insult to injury, his wife left him a letter saying, Dear John, this robot is more of a man than you will ever be. I tip my hat to Alfred Hitchcock on that one. Um, someone told me a joke from the 31st century the other day. I want to share it with you. It goes like this. How many morons from the planet Morania does it take to change a light bulb? Well, the answer is only one if the moron doesn't eat the light bulb. Of special interest, it was in 2011 that scientists discovered the Elvis monkey in Vietnam, also known as the stub-nosed monkey. I guess that's what happens. You're born, become a rock star, die, and then you're reincarnated as a monkey. Or at least they name a monkey after you. That's really respect. Um, also, speaking of 2011, I like to mention, 2011 and 2012, I like to mention that I saw the trailer for Men in Black 3 um, movie. It's, it's great. I love it. I love that series. That's just a wonderful movie series. I like Aliens. And I just think it's great. Also, Paramount has bought the option, or has got the option, to make a movie of the Martian Chronicles. Of course, that was uh, based on writings of Ray Bradbury, and a lot of those writings appeared on Dimension X and X-1 on old-time radio during the 1950s. And uh, you can still listen to those old radio shows if you'll check them out on Google. You can find an arc. There's an archive that has some of them, and there's other places that have old-time radio. And... Uh, it's X minus one and Dimension X, two different radio shows. Dimension X become X minus one. So you might want to check that out. That's interesting. But uh, you know, the Martian Chronicles was um, a mini series on TV. It had Rock Hudson in it. So it'd be interesting how the movie seems. It would be great. Uh, maybe 2012, 2013 is when it will come out. And more news from the 31st century. The Alpha Centauri expedition has found the remains of an old, perhaps dead race. Bob Cross, head of the expedition, says the ruins they have found are perhaps thousands of years old. And it's my understanding they found what appeared to be an old theater and what it was a hospital. It will probably be years before they decide what these beings look like. Isn't that wonderful? I tip my hat on that one to Dimension X. Um, as far as the future is concerned, it's time to think ahead to the future, 2012, and what you want to achieve during that time. It's time to plan ahead. I'd like to talk to you briefly about my book. It's called The Ballad of Dred Scott. It's a story of a man whom the universe chooses as a champion to bring an end to the unnatural state of slavery. His fight for freedom causes a chain reaction that ends slavery in America. It's based on a true story. Dred Scott was a real man. Uh, it's available on Amazon as a Kindle book and as a hard copy. I want to remind you to work for your dream. Don't just dream. Don't just sit on your butt and think about things you want to do. You've got to do the work. You've got to sweat. Reality doesn't reward just dreaming and sitting on your butt. You have to do the work. And sometimes it takes doing little things to get started. You have to get started. There was a woman who said that anyone who fights for the future lives it today. And I want you to remind you to fight for your future. And also work for your future. Work to make your future reality. I'm going to leave you with a blessing. May you always have the freedom to choose the path of reason. And when reason isn't present, 
May you have the wisdom to know it. And remember that sometimes, even when you lose, you can still win if you don't give up your dream. Have a good day.